We're here at the big retail show, and we're going to check out some innovative technology. Let's take a closer look. Robots are a wonderful tool for engagement, and uh, having spent a little bit of time with Pepper, uh, it really is like a friendly experience. You know, sometimes when people think robots, they not. They might think friendly, but this is really like a, the, between the eyes and the way they interact. Tell us a little bit about how you got to that process. Right. So I think really what you're speaking to is the form factor of Pepper. And so we were a little bit choiceful on what kinds of things Pepper could do. So, for example, we were less interested in could it go do some sort of activity for you in the home, for example, vacuuming or what have you. We were more interested in it, in it being able to engage you. And so the form factor that you're referring to, it's cuteness, the fact that its arms gesticulate and communicate the way you communicate and mimics you, that was all done by design so that you could have the best and most engaging experience with it that you possibly could. And so what we feel like that does is it creates a presence that maybe a lot of other technology doesn't have, whether that's uh, a speaker sitting on your counter at home that you right. just talked to, right. you forget it's there. Pepper, you don't forget is there. Right. And one of the things that sort of came to me as I was uh, interacting with Pepper, was that it was asking questions. You know, like, typically if you go to a store, it's like, can I help you? No, okay, great. And then <laughs> and they're gone. Right. You know, then you turn around, like, actually, maybe I do have another question. But, like, it's a very, maybe it's the psychology behind, like, you're talking to that, that soothing voice that, like, at, like wants, okay, is that the sneaker you want? Is it a casual sneaker? Is it between $99 or $150? Um, it, was, it, it makes you feel good when you're shopping. Well, so there's a couple of things there. One, to the extent that a retailer really knows their shopper, they can start to program the right sorts right. of answers. But you also picked up on a really interesting dynamic that we found as we put Pepper into the world, which is that used car salesman dynamic goes away. There's inherent right. dynamic between you and me as right. people, right. right? The first is, can I help you? Right. Nah, I'm good. Right. I'm just looking. Right. You don't assume that Pepper's there to, right. to sell you something. And so you're very much more right. likely to ask that question, to want to receive back right. that information. So as a tool, again, you can overcome some barriers that a store associate just never would be able to overcome. And we're playing that out not only in retail, but in automotive. Nissan uses it in their showrooms. We're also finding it in the medical setting. So General Electric has a, a really interesting application to help explain an MRI machine because it's a very stressful event. Sure. You're a little scared, you're a little freaked out because right. you don't want them to find <laughs> something to begin with. Right. Two, you want to ask that doctor some right. questions, but A, they maybe don't have enough right. time. B, you're a little intimidated right. by them because they're very intelligent people and you're worried you'll ask yeah. a question right. that isn't so smart. Pepper takes all of that out of play. Gee, it was really smart to think about the fact that stress is not what you want at that moment in time. Right. So let's take the stress out by creating some technology that can answer the questions. So I noticed there's like a little cap, I'm not sure whether there's like a dot. Like right in the forehead. What is the, what is that dot doing? So there's two uh, two dimensional cameras. One in the forehead and one in the mouth. The the mouth one is looking down at what's around it. The camera is looking out, and it compares that to a three dimensional camera that's in the right eye, similar to a Kinect and an Xbox camera. And so it can take in all those different data feeds and have a good understanding of the world around it. So the first thing it's trying to do is it's trying to find a body. So we have zones. Call it roughly 10 to 12 feet out is the first zone, and there's two more zones as it comes in. It'll recognize a body from about 12 feet out. The next zone in, it recognizes a face, and then it's gonna lock on that face. Because remember, what I told you is, Pepper's about engagement. So it knows that if it locks on you as a person and a face, it's gonna be able to engage you a little bit better, just like we're making right. eye contact. Right. And so then it stays on you. Sure. And if you move, it will move. It right. will square up yeah, to you. And the hands will interact. Yeah, That's so right. It's, it's and, then, and then right. everything else kicks sure. in after. All the programming sure. that it has around listening for a word. Sure. The directional microphones will focus in on you. So it's listening for your right. voice. And until that interaction is done, it won't, it won't sure. lose you. Talk a little bit about the analytics. So after you sort of develop that relationship, uh, and then you're ready to, to buy something. What's the back end like? <clears throat> well, you know, I think what we recognize is data sort of rules everything. Sure. And so um, what we've done is create a suite of information on the back end, analytics we'll call it, that tells you a little bit more about, well, who interacts with it. How many people walked by? How many people stopped? How many people engaged? For how long? Were they male? Were they female? Roughly their ages? And then even more, because we have facial recognition right. and emotional recognition, did they smile? Were they happy? So now you can start to gradiate that impression. Here's what's really interesting for retail. In the day when I was buying uh, end caps, for example, in retail, the only metric I was allowed to use was sales lift. 
Did I sell X percent more than I normally would have? That spoke to the ROI. If I had analytics around brand impression and engagement, that would have fundamentally changed how I could spend and the KPIs that I use, the, the key performance indicators I use on the back end. Pepper now can do all that for you, and I think it fundamentally changes some of that decision making. And one of the things, at least that I see, is this is, is great for retail, but it also has other applications for events, um, for, for museums. There's, there's different ways where you can sort of use it for the engagement. That's exactly right. So if you wanted it to uh, be the curator of your museum and, and tell you everything there was to know about the Impressionist era, absolutely could do that, very, very simply. Let's say uh, on a CarMax type lot, a used car lot, where that inventory is shifting constantly. If I said, hey, I'm looking for a, a Lexus or a Toyota, that, that associate might have to go and look it up. Right. Pepper would know because it's connected to the uh, database and would also be the expert on everything to do with that right. type of car, right. Right? right? Very similar, slightly right. different industry, but same idea. It can be the repository for that information and can deliver the content as necessary. Data is key. Friend friendly in data, it's, right. it's a great uh, connection. Um, so how much does, does uh, actually it cost for, for if the store wants to move forward with uh, you know, going with Pepper? Right, so we haven't uh, announced um, pricing just yet in North America, but what we're looking for is uh, partner clients that want to come work with us. We're being very choiceful how we launch in the marketplace because we want to be protective of it. We think it's got a, a lot of future, but it's a long future. So we want to get into market with the, the partners that want to partner with us and learn with us. So any of your listeners or readers that uh, want to come talk to us, please come talk to us. But for, call it, several hundred dollars a month, we can have this kind of technology in your store. Customer service can sometimes be elusive. What I love what SoftBank Robotics America did was it created a robot that's friendly and engaging. So from retail stores to hospitals to airports to museums, we're now going to see these robots engaging us in a meaningful way, help us with analytics, and really transform the customer experience. This is Aaron Herman, and thank you for watching.